you create your reality. The Creators It is a tribute to your species that you are able to, have a portion of yourselves cut off from your awareness, and still create such beautiful works of art, and wonderful pieces of technology, that you are able to create music, and literature, and all sorts of forms of artistic endeavors. These are accomplishments to be applauded. It is your destiny to create the entire universe as you experience it, consciously. And so you have the smaller versions of that with the things you create with your hands, and your minds, and your voices. Those are wonderful examples of what you are capable of. You can create stories where there are beings that no one has ever seen before in your world, consciously, at least. And you can create images that no one has ever seen. You can create music that no one has ever heard. It is quite a skill indeed. And to create a universe for yourselves to experience takes nothing short of the same amount of skill, and focus. And so why not start small? Why not create something that you can hold in your hands? Why not create a group that gets together in your community? Why not create stories, pictures? Anything that you create that you then experience with your senses is a step in that direction of being the creators of vast worlds, and systems, galaxies, stars, planets, you name it, you will create it. And you will experience your creations. And what is required of you to tap into this creative potential is nothing more than intending to do so, quieting your thinking mind, doing something that you love to do, and letting the ideas flow. We would like you to accept that there is no limit to what you can create here, and now, and that you are in fact creating every bit of what, it is you experience. And soon your potential for creating even more than what you see in front of you now will be limitless. The signs are increasing. The 9D Arcturian Council Greetings We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. It is a wonderful time for all of you to start paying more attention to the signs that you are getting all around you. We see so many humans missing out on the signs, and the signals, and the little nudges that you receive. And so, we want you to start paying more attention to all of the various ways in which the universe, and your guides are speaking to you. You often want to hear from them but you only want to hear from them in the way that you are accustomed to receiving messages. And yet they are speaking to you in a variety of ways. Now, you have even more friends, and well-wishers among you there on earth, like the cats, for example, and all of the other animals. But we are talking specifically about your non-physical friends who are giving you these signs to nudge you in a particular direction, or to let you know that you are right on track. Sometimes it's a subtle suggestion that will, come to you three times from three different people, and you will wonder how that, is possible. Well, everything is possible, and this is highly probable. We can say that, because we already see it happening all the time, and we see so many people missing the signs, because they want to hear a little voice in their heads, or they want to see a guide appear in front of them. But you are there now to work with the energies in a more subtle way so that you can master the different vibrations that you have available to you. So do look for what is subtle, and what is unexpected, and certainly look for what is unexplained, for they are all bits, and pieces of the guidance you are receiving every day, and you just need to tune yourselves to a bit more of a sensitive setting, instead of expecting to be hit over the head with something. You then will follow that guidance that you get from all of these lovely beings, and you will see the positive results. And then, because of those positive results, you will be more likely in the future to pick up on the signs you are receiving all the time. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. The Weight You're Carrying The 9D Arcturian Council the weight you're carrying the 9D Arcturian Council. Greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. 
We are pleased to connect with all of you. We have begun to extract pieces of information from the past in your current timeline to help better understand where you are now, and what you need. This is a good way for all of you to understand yourselves, and each other. When you know what a person has endured in their lives, what tragedies, and traumas they have suffered, it is easier for you then to understand where they are coming from in the now moment. And you can also better understand what, it is that they need. Now, we are not talking about dwelling in the past, and we are not talking about using the past as an excuse to never change in the present. We simply understand how you all get shaped by certain events in your lives, and, it is a very good idea for all of you to recognize that some of what is affecting you from the past is coming to you from a past life. And, it is good for you to understand this about other people as well, because, it is so important for all of humanity to experience compassion. It is the path to oneness, and unity consciousness. It is the way you will find common ground, so that you can all, come together. Now, just, because what you have suffered is a different experience from what someone else over here has suffered doesn't make the result any different. You experienced some sort of trauma and you had an emotional reaction that got trapped in your bodies, and in your chakras. And now is the time you are releasing all of that, and so is everyone else. Therefore, you are all very strong, and you are all doing the best you can under the circumstances, and this ascension from the third dimension to the fifth dimension was no small task to take on for any of you. So please cut yourselves some slack. You have no idea how much weight you are carrying around. And please cut everyone else some slack as well, and the best thing that you can do for each other to help this process along more smoothly is to talk about your emotions. Talk about what you are feeling, not what triggered it, because, if someone else has experienced the same depths of sadness that you are experiencing, that, is what they will be able to relate to, and hold compassion, and space for. And that, is what you need to do for each other, more than anything else. And that, is what we do with that information as well. It's not just about us gathering facts. It's about us understanding why people are feeling what they are feeling, and then we can better, come up with a plan for how to help. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you.